Welcome to my art studio. I am so excited to do this with you this evening. Here is the finished product that we will be painting. And uh, you have an eight by 10 canvas. I'm painting on a 11 by 14, just to make it easier for you to visualize what I'm doing. And I will be sharing my palette with you as well. So you can see my palette as I mix. Um, the paint supplies you're going to need, titanium white. I have a cobalt teal or a turquoise, or cobalt, cobalt turquoise or a teal would do well as well. Cad yellow. Gold, which is optional. Cadmium red. Sap green. Mars black. And burnt sienna. You also have three brushes. The first brush is a half inch flat brush. And we're going to be doing most of the painting with this brush. We also have a liner brush or a script brush. And if you don't have one of those, that's fine. You don't really need it. And then lastly, we're going to be using a round brush. It's a number one round brush. And lots of water, paper towels. So I'm gonna put out some paint. This is a negative painting technique. So what we're going to do is we're going to be painting around our shape. Your sketch does not have to have so many details. The only reason I include all the lines is just to, to remind you that you, know, that you want to brush in the shape of the petals. So it's a good guide. So I'm putting out some white, some titanium white. My teal or turquoise. I'm not putting out all the colors right away because I don't want them to dry out. I'm just going to put my background colors out first. Yellow. And I'm going to show you my palette as well. I'm a little bit old here. There we go. Can everybody see that? So I have my titanium white, my turquoise, my gold, and my yellow. I'm going to dip my brush just lightly in water and then dry it. And then I'm going to take my paint. I'm gonna take a little puddle of the white right here. I'm gonna be starting in this left corner here where my light source is coming. So this is where my lightest part of the sky is going to be. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that yellow. And then I'm going to grab some white here and the turquoise. I have another little puddle of turquoise there. Okay, so I'm going to grab some of this. Now, look at my brush. I'm going to just like little, almost like little seeds, just back and forth. Pick up more paint. This is a very quick thing, is you know, just. We just, we just want to make sure all the canvas is covered. Right. If I'm going too quickly, please let me know. So, so as I get closer to the flower, I might add more pigment so it's a little darker. I'm almost like making like a little circle. This is called scumbling. Now, as I get close to the outside of my petals, I'm going to follow the shape, so I'll pick up more paint. I'm gonna take my brush on the line and just follow the shape of my flower and then brush up into the scenery, so into the uh, background. Grab more paint. And again, I'm going to follow this with my straight edge of my, my brush. Tina? Yeah? Yeah? We had trouble getting 
Zoom link. Can do you mind just quickly updating where you're at with the colors and? Oh, sure, sure. So right now, the only thing I have on my palette is my titanium white, my turquoise, and some yellow. So I've made a little puddle with, can you see that? Yes. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just covering, I'm just filling in all the background. And I'm, I'm going around, I'm, I'm, I'm tracing around the, uh, the actual drawing first. And then I'm, I'm drawing, like, so I'm, I'm, I'm taking my brush and guiding it in around my flower. And then and you're kind of mixing those three yeah, together. Right a bit. On, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, and I'm, it, this is like a stumbling technique. So I'm just, I'm, I'm rotating my brush. Or you can do little hatch marks back and forth, like little crosses. And the, the really neat thing about this negative painting technique, I'm gonna hold, can you see that okay? A little darker there. I'm blending it in. The really nice thing about this is after we start, you know, putting in our, our petal colors, uh, we can go back in again and reshape the flower. Can you see my flowers? I'm blending that in. There, in the water. I find in the winter months, uh, the paint dry, the acrylics dry a lot faster for some reason. I think just with all the dry heat. So if, look, I'm following the shape of my flower, cutting around there, and then blending it in. Because I don't want it to look like I've traced around it. Now, if you're more comfortable using the round brush for this part, to trace around it, that's fine too. In the water. Is that visible? And then here I'm going to go around. So underneath this petal, uh, under this flower here, I'm making it a little bit darker, just to show that there's a little bit of a shadow being cast. And I'm doing like a circular motion with my brush. Brush it away. down here as well. Some white, a little bit of the yellow. Yeah. So I'm wetting my brush grabbing some white, a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the teal, and watch what I do here. So I, I use the edge of my brush to follow the shape of my flower, and then I brush it away. And again, this is your painting, so you don't have to follow mine exactly. You can make it as uh, dark or as light or as big as you want. It's your composition. And I just pick up more paint.
and it's just quick strokes. You just want to make sure you've got all your background covered. So following the shape of my flower, my, my stems here, and brushing it away. And letting a little more of that teal on the bottom, a little darker. Yeah. Mina, can I just ask a question really quick? Sure. Um, of course. And you were talking about your brush drying and like adding water to it. Yeah. Um, do you just add the water and then put your brush in the paint or can you talk about that one more time? Well, absolutely. Hi, Dakota. And I just a big shout Dakota is back home. She is a county girl. And if you haven't seen her gorgeous floral arrangements, check it out. It's the perfect pick for it. And it's out of this world. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> you what I do. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'll dry off my brush just so you can see the whole process. Okay, so I'll dry it off here. So I dip my brush in the water, right? Then I tap it on my paper towel. So I don't have a lot of water on that. And I'll grab my paint. I want my paint, can you see? I want it to be loose. I'm not applying a thick coat of paint, so it's nice and loose. This is my brush. And I'm just down here, I want to show you here. I'm following it and then pushing it away. Following my shape down and blending it. Same thing here. So you don't see like brush marks. It's, it's more of a blended. And then, I mean, now that I've got that down, I can take a little bit of, I'm gonna wet, wet my brush, just dip it in the water, dry it. I didn't clean my brush out. I'm gonna grab just a tiny hint of gold, not a lot. And I'm just going to randomly brush it here and there. And then I'm going to wash my brush. I wash it really well and I'm going to blot it. I'll show you what I do here. So you can see when I, you see no pigment on my paper towel. So I've done a good job in, in drying it. So now my brush is still damp and I'm going to give you a minute to get the rest of your background done. Are you, are, am I okay to proceed or do you, uh, are some of you still filling in the background? Am I good to go? Okay, I'm going to add some cadmium red to my palette. And I'm going to put it right And I'm going to add my sap green. Some Mars black. Mars black. And 
and a little bit of burnt sienna, not very much, just a little touch. So now I have my palette complete. You're going to use your half inch brush. And this part's really important. So you're going to, oops, I just stuck my finger in my burnt sienna. Okay. I'm going to take some of that cadmium red. So I've loaded up my brush. And we're gonna start off with this flower right here, okay? And I'm going to hold the flat end of my bristle right on the edge of my drawing and I'm going to follow the shape and the contour of the petal. So I'm going to start off on this petal right here and I'm going to hold my edge and I'm going to come down, move my brush, just going to take a line there and go up. Okay. And I'm going to come down. I need more paint. Again, it's dry in here. I'm going to overlap my brush stroke with the last one. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to put more water. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. Bring it down. Bring it down. And I'm going to nice fluid mo movement. Right here. Move my brush. Again. It's a little thick. I'm going to just add a little bit more water. I don't want it so wet that it's drying. Down. Down. And I'm following the shape. Bring it down. And I'm taking my brush, I'm almost holding it on an angle and I'm tucking it in behind there. And then just with your brush, there we go, like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the inside, but this time we're gonna hold the brush on an angle and come and swoop down and swoop down toward that center. Move my brush. Overlapping them. Here I can add a little bit of those curls. Just tapping that in there, the little ruffles that I drew and down. Overlap, press down. More water. And I'm just using the cad red right now. And it's okay, you can bring it all the way down if you want to. This is all about layering. Uh, the wonderful thing about acrylics is that we work on layering it. And again, I'm following the shape. Down. I covered up the whole, but I can still see my line, right? And I'm gonna leave that alone. We're gonna do the same thing on the second blossom. 
So I'm going to start off holding my brush perpendicular and bringing it around and smoothing it in. And then press, 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 press to And you're overlapping. Load your brush again. Bring it. I'm curving my brush behind that stem there. Load my brush. Bring that down. And here again. You want to blend out some of those lines. It's not so choppy. And we're going to reshape this bottom piece, so don't worry about that. Wet my brush, grab more paint. And here I'm going to bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. And then here. And in here. Bring it in. I'm following the shape of the petal. Grab more paint and I'm going to bring it back in all the way. I don't want this to be too thick but I don't want it to be so runny that it's going to come off. So it's a little bit loose there. So my brush is loaded. And this is just the outline of, oh, and I, got, I find out, I, I, I haven't, uh, do you notice back in there? I didn't do the background color. I'll have to go back in afterwards and do that. Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm, I'm waiting for this layer to dry. So I'm going to do that, the bottom part of the stem, just the tiny little strokes here. And this is kind of rounded. And press. Poppies in nature, uh, you don't normally see a stem that's standing straight up. There's always a nice little curve to it. And so you just try to emulate that and maybe even exaggerate it a little bit here. And press down. Like that. You don't want to add a thick layer of paint. This is just the underpainting. So here we go here. We're going to be doing lots of different layers. We're going to be adding uh, some of the burnt sienna to the scent stem. We're going to add a little bit of yellow and even some red and gold and black. So this is just wet my brush. This petal's going, or this stem is going behind. And then we're going to do this one. Let 
my brush. more paint. What I really like about negative painting is that if there's any imperfections, you can go back in with the background color and edit them out. But only once it's dry. And here now, now here for this pod, you want to have one continuous motion. You want to be like circular. Move my brush. And I'm gonna call that good. So just a little bit here. Wash that brush. So I put, I put away my, my round brush. Now I'm going to grab my flat brush again. And we're going to Add one more layer of the red to add a little bit more definition. So I'm gonna grab that red and I'm going to make a little puddle right over here. I'm gonna to touch just a little bit of the yellow, make it a little bit more, a little orangey, not too orange, but there we go, okay. This is where the light's coming. So this part, the lighter part of the, the petal, this part's gonna be a little darker down here. So the light's coming into this part and this darker here. So I'm gonna start over here and bring it in. Overlapping again. I'm not going all the way down. And again, the shape, I'm following the contour of the flower. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. A little more yellow, a little more red on this one here. Do this a little more yellow, a little more red. And on this side here where the sun is hitting directly, I'm going to do some of that lighter. Okay, now I'm gonna go a little bit of the red right over here. And I'm just going to touch a little, wait, this is the corner of my, my brush into a little bit of the black, a little bit. There we go. Can you see that? Absolutely small amount. I want this a little darker. And here I'm going to come to the top and work my way down. Brushing it in. 
we're going to be doing another layer so it, it, we don't want to go too dark more red right into that mix same thing here right in turn my brush and scoop it behind All right, now I'm going to wash that brush. And I'm going to, my brush is not going to be very wet. It's gonna be rather, you know, I just, I, I washed it and then it's, it's just damp. I'm going to grab a little bit of that Mars black, just on the tip, okay? And watch what I do. I'm gonna be very careful, very mindful of that line where the bottom of the petal is. So I'm going to shape my flower. I've got a little, little bit of impression up. Following the contour of the flower. And going in the, in the direction of the petal. I'm scooping that up a little here. And now here, if you notice, if I do this, watch, if I can just, I've created a little gap in the petal. And then you can do that just to give a little bit more. Do the same thing down here. Angle it. There you go. You kind of want your paint to be dry a little. Wash my brush. We're going to let this part dry a little. We're going to go back to the stem. We're going to take the round brush. And now we're going to add get a little puddle of the green. Here. I'm going to grab a little bit of the burnt sienna. I have a darker value. One more. Then I'm also wash my brush. I don't want to get my yellow dirty. I want to keep it pretty clean. Grab some yellow and start a pile here. Okay, and I'm gonna tap my brush. I don't want it too wet. Grab a little, little more yellow. Okay. Now on the outside of the, of the stem, I'm going to brush it just lightly. I can need more paint. on the outer outer edges here. Let's dry it down. Okay. 
grab more paint. Here we go. A bit more green. Down here. Same thing over here. We're not covering the entire stem. We want to leave some of the dark. Okay. Now I'm going to take more of that green. And there's that dark mixture. And I'm going to go on this side. Tap it a little bit in there. And this is almost a wet on wet, and I'm just gently brushing it down. Grab some more of that. I'm just tapping it there where it meets the flower and blending it in. Not a lot of paint on the brush, just a little bit. I'm just shading it down here. Grab some more of that on the inside. Now I got some of that green on my background. That's okay, I can fix that afterwards. I'm gonna grab more of my green, a little bit more of the burnt sienna, that darker, that darker value. And down here, and I'm doing the same thing up here following the contour of the pod. And right here, I want a little darker. I'm just gonna bounce my brush. There. And now I'm going to put my brush. Clean it. And pick up my flat brush again. I'm gonna go back to the poppy, to the flower, to the petals. I'm going to grab more yellow and a little bit of the red, but I wanna go lighter this time. So it's kind of like an orangey. And I'm going to brush it down again. Not all the way down. I can pick up more. And blending it in. Again, same thing here. Following the contour, the shape of the petals. Down here. And I'm gonna load up the brush like that. Do it again. And I'm going to do just a little bit over here. Again, just on the frill.
Now grab more red. And just brush it in. More red, brush it in. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry again. And now we're going to take that red. We have it on a chisel and I am going to make it look like this pot is starting to burst open. I don't want to have too much of it. Just, I'm almost using the, the edge and almost like little veins. Again, following the shape. And then I can grab some of that yellowy orange mix to that right over here. Oops, a little too much. Put my brush. Here we go. And then with that same brush, just the chisel end, I am going to go just in a random. Vertical lines, maybe here just a little dot with my okay. I'm gonna wash my brush again. I'm going to take the gold. Wipe it off. It's too much there. I just want it on the tips of my, my my brush, and I'm just going to gently press it in. Too wet. Brush it in. A little bit. If you tap it along the outer edge, it gives it that little. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing right over here, just at the very top. Do the same thing here. I'm just loading the top. Here as well. You want the brush to be almost dry for this to get that better streaking. Too much, I can go back afterwards. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Just a few lines. And you're gonna also do this while you have the gold on your brush. I like to outline a little bit in here. Not too much because we're gonna go back in with the light, light yellow. There. And then I'm gonna dry this brush or wash this brush. Going 
to add a lighter yellow. So I'm going to grab some yellow and white, more white. Little more white. And then a touch of green, just a little bit. Oh. One more yellow. So I've got a really light value here. And I'm going to use the corner of my brush and just outline a little bit. on the outer edge. Up here too a little. And a little bit here. Where the sun is hitting. And just gently coax it down. Just a little bit more of that color. I'm gonna add a little bit more white, a little more yellow. There we go. And I want to do it on the other edge of this one too, just a little bit. Okay, and now I'm gonna brush my brush. I want to dry it. I want to make sure it's nice and dry. And I'm going to go back with, I'm going to fix this part right here. I don't like mine there. I think I, I just went a little too. There we go. I'm going to my brush here. And some of that darker red just down here. Some of that lighter red. And down here. And now I'm going to add a little bit of the black. Well, that's a lot of black, not too not that much. And a little bit of the red. I want a darker value. And I want my brush to be dry. So what I'm going to, I don't want too much paint on there. I'm blotting it. So I'm checking the color. And down here, I just want it to be a little bit in shadow. And I'm pushing it up with the shape of the petals. So we're shading it. Okay. So grab a little bit more of that. There, doing the same thing over here. It's almost a dry brush. A little bit more red. Just the corner of the black. Like that. And now I'm going to take the edge of my brush dip it in that black. I'm not washing it or anything. And I'm going to just shape the bottom petal here a little bit. Make it look more frilled. Change the shape a little. Again, dip it in the black. Look what happens when I do this. It adds a little bit of character. It gives it a different shape. Okay. I'm doing the same thing over here. Can we shape it a little? And here. 
by just tapping my brush just ever so gently, I'm giving it more of a frilled edge, and I might do this here. More than I wanted, but oh well, I can fix that. Feather it up. And then I'm going to take that dark, just a dry brush again, and I'm just going to go along the edge where the petal hit the stem. And just a brush, a dry brush. Okay. Again, I hold it and I'm flicking upwards. Okay. Again, I'm just dipping my brush, the end in there, and I'm going where the red and the green touch. I'm just going to kind of shadow it a little, define it. Not a lot. Same thing over here. And I'm going to take the corner of my brush, just the corner, and I'm gently going to tap it along where the base of the stem reaches the pod. Feather it out a little. Okay. Again, I'm going to take my brush, and now I'm going to go on the right side of my stem. I'm just going to touch it just gently. A dry brush. I'm doing the same thing on this side. I'm going to use a corner of my brush to gently brush it. I'll grab a little more paint. Oh, I don't think I have too much on there. Just Gently brush. I don't want to cover up all the red or all the green. Maybe some of that interest there. I'm going to wash my brush. Grab my round brush. And now I want some white and yellow. And I want it really pale, a little more white. And I'm going to roll my brush so I get a little tip on it. If you want to use your liner brush for this, you can. And I'm just going to hit it in just a few places, like this on the outer edge. on the outer left side, okay? Not all the way, if it, otherwise it, it loses the effect. So over here, maybe down here a little. Over here, right on the, on the bridge there. And I can mix it and up top here. Where you want the light. And again, there, I wash my brush. And now I could do, I could take the liner brush. Actually, so remember, I, I told you I forgot about a little spot right in there. I'm going to take my flat brush. And remember that mixture I had for my background? So some of the turquoise, a little bit of the yellow, more white. 
I brush it a little bit wet. I'm gonna make sure it's not too wet. Okay, more paint. And in there it was light, so I'm going to right in there. I'm going to put this brush, and I'm going to gently. You don't do this when it's wet. Okay, there we go. I got that, and. If you want to reshape any of your flowers or your pods, this is a, you, you wait for it to be dry and then you can get closer. But here it's nice and dry. I think I want to add a little bit more here. And in here. I missed another part over here, didn't I? I'm having cataract surgery on the 23rd, so I'm hoping my vision gets better. Who knows, I might even paint better. And so I'm gonna show you something here. So I'm grabbing some white and blue, some of that background color. I can add some interest here as well. I can add just a little. And I think we're also want to fix the shape here. Remember to feather it in. That way, you don't have any strong lines. I'm in here a little bit. There and my brush. I noticed that right here I'm missing some of the stem. I'm going to just go into the green color, just plain green here, and just touch it up. There, a little more green there. And now the fun begins. You can take your brush really good. So I want it's almost dry to the touch. I'm going to dip that brush into the gold, just the tip of it, okay? And I'm going to just outline the very tippy top. And I'm just tapping it along. Not all over, just in some places. You can also use just the end of your brush, the corner. Here. Let's put some over here. Give it a line. And I might do a little bit right there. Maybe a little bit in here. Wash my brush. And now I'm going to take my liner brush. I'm going to wet it. I'm going to go into the black. And you want the blood, you want your paint to flow rather freely, okay? There we go. And I'm going to give this a little bit more detail. So I'm going to go right where the stem touches the base of the, the flower, of the poppy petals. I'm just going to do little dots. And I'm going back and forth. And I might even grab more paint. I might add a few dots over here. And I might even add a few dots over here. You don't want it to be too. Um, 
too heavy. Just want to maybe a few here. And again, some dots down here. Even on the stem. Not too many. And down here. And just just putting a little random tapping it in there, not barely a hint of paint on there. And where the shadow would be. There, and I might even do some over here. You can also add some more wispy lines if you want, like that. Or not. Now, if I don't like the way that looks, look what I can do. I can take my brush and just make sure it's dry. Squeeze out some of that moisture. I could just flick that a little bit. So it's not quite so. Yeah, I like that better. And now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to wash this black, the black off of my brush. And you can add another strand of a little bit of red. I want it to be really vibrant, just, just right about there. And maybe up here. I think I, I think I'm happy with this. I think I might add maybe another little highlight here, maybe over here. And I like to sign the poppy in red. Don't sign too close to the bottom because if you do, when you frame it, you might end up cutting off part of your signature. It's okay to. I mean, I, I like to. I like to be at least an inch and a half above. And I would practice your signature. My paint's getting kind of dry here. If you have cool initials, I would do that too. As you can see them. There, there we have it. And if I look at that and say, well, you know what? Maybe it needs a little bit more. I'm in the mood of gold. Hang on. How's that? I am going to outline just a little bit here. Maybe more here. Since we have it, right? Maybe a little here. Give it more of a, a ruffled edge here. Wiggling my, I'm wiggling my brush a little. There we go. And over here. Another little highlight there. And I think that's good.